HJK Infosys provides world class online IT training, staffing, and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys supports 100% job oriented training, hands on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one time pay, lifetime access to live classes and videos. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For free demo class, visit h2kinfosys.com. Java available in your system. That is enough for us. And that automatically, see, what do you see here? JRE system library, Java SC17. This automatically brings us Java to our project. Okay. We don't need to do anything. Okay. Uh, Pratiba already sent you the link just before. You are able to see Pratiba Rai Shukla. Will you share the PDF you said? In that link itself, both installation doc and this PDF is available. Okay. Uh, hi, Shinivas. Yeah. Lovely. Uh, so going forward, uh, like, you know, once the Java programming and everything starts in, uh, do we get to have any communication with you in case if we have doubts or anything um, until said, we don't right? have to wait? Huh? That's what I said. I'll be creating a, I'll be taking all your email IDs and then every day, whatever we complete, I'll be sharing the programs with you. Okay. And RS, you can mail me. Okay. okay, so we shall discuss in the through class. the email only. Right? So yeah. for the benefit of the people, people whoever want to discuss, better is join five minutes early. So I mean, uh, maybe Monday onwards, what I do, I will start join by eight twenty-five. Okay, so whoever want to discuss, let us discuss. No problem. Okay? Would it be possible to have a WhatsApp group, uh, Srinivas, by any chance? Uh, no. 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 Okay. Problem is initially I had that, but it was actually. I mean, you guys want to create, you can, you could create guys because a lot of people communicate themselves and they do. Okay. I was sure. part of the groups as earlier, but it was too tiring for me. So I discontinued okay. the process. Got so it. what, what I did was few, I mean, few people of my batches, they create their own groups, but when there is something I need to be discussed, they will tell in the class. Okay. So are the few people having this issue, can we discuss again? Okay. okay, so like that. But remember, guys, I will discuss with you how many times you want. Don't think that okay, already video is there. I will go through. If you want to go through the video, well and good. Go through the video. If still you are unable to understand, don't worry. I will discuss with you a number of times. It doesn't matter for me. My intention is to make sure that you understand clearly every topic. Okay, don't feel shy. Uh, if I ask questions, somebody may be thinking that um, it's not good. Okay, nothing like that, guys. Remember, you are learning for yourself. You are not learning for others. Okay, don't feel shy at all. If you feel shy asking question in the class, no problem. Drop me a message or join the call early from Monday. So we will discuss. Okay, so keep keep in mind that, okay, don't, you are not learning for somebody. You are learning for yourself. Okay, don't feel shy. Don't feel that, yeah, if I ask this question, it is very, a trivial question and somebody may feel never okay even i don't feel like that even you ask 100 times no problem my job here is to teach you whatever possible man my, my intention is i want you to learn it is not for the money because you paid the money you have to tell something no the my intention is not like that my intention is you have to learn thoroughly okay for that whatever i can do i am ready to do not 10 times, even 20 times, I'm ready to repeat it. Okay, no problem. Only thing is, I don't repeat that too many times in the class. Let us take it off the class, like uh, five minutes before the class or after the class, something like that. Okay, so stop me anytime during the uh, uh, discussion, guys. You don't need to wait for me to complete the entire class for that day and take the questions. If at all really required, you require to wait, I will tell you, wait for a few minutes, let me complete it and then I will take the questions, okay? So don't think that, okay, he's already teaching, he's going in a pace, let me stop it. And let me not stop it, let me take the questions at the end. No, not required. You can stop me right away there on the topic, okay? So as I already told you, let's make this class more interactive. I don't want to be a news reader, remember. I don't want to be a news reader, just talk and leave. Let's make it interactive. So, and 
whatever be the questions you have in mind ask me don't feel shy or don't feel somebody may be think you are learning for yourself i'm repeating again you are learning for yourself okay and your job somebody won't get for you clear yes rinvas thank you yeah my email id i will ping you guys uh, tomorrow okay so so that you can communicate with me as well as as i said friday i will take all your emails and then let's start communicating i'll be sending you uh, the code whatever we discussed on that day for for your reference you can always do okay that's it can i can we start with today's class yes please go ahead okay yes so first let us understand very first basic thing what is java okay remember java is a programming language first of all simple terms programming language so why programming languages are required okay so normally programming languages are required to create a software or to create an application simple for example i want to build an application where you want to generate electricity bill for our usage okay then how do you generate for example let's say currently all electricity divisions are using manual process we want to replace that with an automated or a computer system so how do you do you need a program to do that job for you right for example if you want to construct a home what we require we require all the raw materials right just site doesn't sufficient you require all the raw materials like right? similarly and you need somebody to construct it in a planned way similarly our programming language also same if you want to build any software you require a programming language there are many programming languages available in the market so as you guys know uh, if you see like c was the initially you highly used programming language even fox pro before that c pascal c plus plus and then we have java python all these are different different programming languages which are available and we can create programs using any of them okay however old programming languages something like pascal now nobody is using reason being we got better programming languages now so why do you want to go to the old one where we didn't have much features right so java is one such programming language which is used widely across all the enterprise many enterprises if you see you might have heard in the market also without java programming almost 80% of the companies won't be there because many of them use java as the programming language of course there are others also for example if you see python even now python picked lot so python is also one of the programming language which is widely used but java is having much more impact reason being java programming language advantage is you can do you can do java programming language for any of the application types you can create a windows based application you can create even web based application you can create mobile based applications using java for example android itself is developed on java that way if you see right so that is the reason java is widely used and it is actually a preferable language among the developers right now we know it is a simple programming language now let us understand in depth what it is java is an object oriented programming language yes now we know what is programming language but what is this a new term added before our programming language called object oriented okay how it is is programming languages will be actually divided into multiple ways okay what it is is we have different programming language for example if you take c++ it is called a uh, c it is called functional programming language if you take if you take cobol which is used for main frames it is called procedural programming language similarly there is one called prolog which is a logical programming language so like that there is one more programming uh, language called object oriented programming languages so object oriented programming languages are the latest in the market to rule okay 
So many programming languages are object oriented. For example, first object oriented programming language was similar. Okay, after that C++ came into picture. So we can say C++ is successor of C. Successor of C. C programming language was functional programming language, but it was not object oriented. So C++ uh, for C they added object oriented features and they brought in a, another programming language called C++. Many people, maybe not very new generation, little bit old. Okay, let's say 2000, 2090s uh, generation would have learned C++ in their colleges or schools, okay, or universities. So that way, C++ is successor of C. Now. On top of C++, actually, they made it Java. Okay, so we can say Java is successor of C++ also. Okay, C++ is also a object oriented programming language. Even Java is object oriented programming language. Fine. Now, what is the difference between this functional, logical, and object oriented? Whatever we are talking, procedural or object oriented. See. These object oriented procedural or functional or methodologies which we apply on the particular language. Okay, for example, let me correlate with a um, live example. For example, same thing, we are constructing a house. How do we construct? We got the, all the raw materials, right? So if you see the construction also, there are many ways people do. For example, if you see a big, big complexes or maybe um, uh, uh, skyscrapers normally they will use actually one technology where they can construct all the pillars right and then they can go all the walls and then interiors whatever it is right and if we take a small house where we don't have that many floors what happened it is a simple one with the basic things and basic structures all that why it is because depends on the size as well as it depends on the need we need to use the proper methodology to construct it similarly programming languages also like that older languages did not have the much of the complexity of the enterprise applications that time it was evolving they were actually fit for few types of applications only because that time even web world wide web or web Site itself was not there. And if you see in 1990s or 80s, we don't even have internet. Internet started in early, uh, late 80s or early 90s only, right? Before that, there was no internet only. Then where do we have web applications? Right? So when time is evolved, you get the better, better methodology. Similarly, one such methodology is object oriented methodology object oriented means it is actually a methodology methodology means it contains some kind of rules that's it we need to adhere to that rules while creating so whatever be the programming which use object oriented methodology or which adopted object oriented methodology principles are called as object oriented programming languages simple Whatever be the programming which adapts to object oriented programming principles are called object oriented programming languages. Okay, there are many languages like Ruby, Python, C sharp, even C sharp also. I did not give in here. Okay, C sharp that is also C, Python, all these are object oriented programming languages. Now, may, now may you may ask me, okay, what is the difference then? Actually, these were not as good as for a lot of applications. For example, with C, you cannot create any web application. Okay, but in Java, you can create a web application. Right, like that, there are disadvantages and advantages. We will discuss that later. So, because Java follows object-oriented program methodology, so that is why it is called object-oriented programming language. Otherwise, it is a normal language only. Okay, simple. Now, any any questions so far in this topic, guys? Here, don't worry no. about what are the benefits of object-oriented programming methodology that we will discuss. Okay. Now, what is IDE? As I said, IDE or Integrated Development Environment is a software where we can easily create our projects and maintain our projects easily. 
than using any of the uh, editor tools like notepad or notepad plus plus so these are very helpful for us to run compile our code very very easily so that is why we have these ids as i said many ids are available in the market so we do have eclipse we have netbeans id we have intellij we have even jdeveloper which is from sun microsystems currently oracle is managing because sun microsystems is bought by oracle so that is the reason java and jdeveloper everything now under oracle okay so that's how it is clear any questions so far fine now we installed java right actually java is called jdk if you go to our java folders you could see the same or if i might have observed while i was creating our programs also it was showing me jdk 17 right so let me go to our folder where java is installed you will see you will have jdk uh, see program files java see this here jdk 17 latest okay so what is this jdk java development kit so java program only we call it as jdk it is called java development kit actually this java earlier versions of java if you had older java like something java 8 and all we used to see two folders here not just one folder here normally we see jdk and jre okay so now it is combined into one so there is no separate jre now but it is jdk only what is this is jdk means java development kit so this programs are our kit or this particular uh, software is required to create our java programs to, to run our java programs there is one more called jre in java or java runtime environment what this is now as i told currently part of jdk but earlier we do used to get separately but what it is is, is actually it is called java runtime environment so what it is this required to run your java programs for example i have a mission where it is not used for any development purpose okay for example take a uh, manual tester mission so manual tester does not need to have jdk installed reason being he don't create any programs or he doesn't create any programs now but he, if he want to run java program to test he needs jre in his mission why because to run java we need this jre or java runtime environment we also sometimes referred as jvm java virtual machine okay so i don't see them don't worry it is part of already our package which is there so internally it will handle so you don't need to worry but older versions of java you have jre separately jdk separately so to run only your java programs or java application you just need jre or jvm you don't require any jdk jdk is required to create our java programs that is the reason the name also jdk refers as java development kit that means to develop java programs we require this okay otherwise we don't require that's it so that is the reason we have jdk here clear so that is what we installed as well so for example if you see here it is telling me jre see jre java runtime environment because to run our programs we require that and to create our programs jdk is added so it is internally having jre as well okay so that is how it is now what are the features of java Fine. any programming language has certain features which is which is how it is different from others right let's see one by one first one is java is very simple to write any programming language normally you will be writing in english type format only many of the programming languages what you see but the way you write is different what we call it as syntax syntax is nothing but how do you write your java programs in a structured way okay structured way so that is what syntax so that way if you see java is very simple to write because it follows the c programming language which is the common programming language for many okay many people would have learned c c plus plus in their uh, um, universities or colleges or schools right so that is the one which is the base as i said c is the basic programming language we had functional programming language and then we have c plus plus which is a successor of c then we have java which is successor of c plus plus 
okay so it's very easy java syntax based on c++ and remember c++ is based on c so that way we can say it is a c only as the root fine and c and c++ has little complexities at few of the topics or few of the cont i mean few of the features but java has removed all of them java made much more easier when you compare with c or c++ okay you might have heard normally people afraid when doing c program is pointers if of course i don't think your generation anybody would have done c anybody done c in their lifetime so far guys c++ i have done actually lavanya right so pointers is the concept normally people get heart attacks <laughs> <laughs> right so that is removed in java so why this is is this pointers concept what actually refers is it refers to your memory locations in your system and whenever you give access to your memory it will be security vulnerability isn't it that is the reason they removed that concept here okay so like these concepts what happens is they removed all the complexities which are vulnerable and which are actually secure not secure also and java uh, java they discontinued those topics in java okay so that is why it is very simple and also in case of c++ or c uh, not c uh, sorry c++ whenever you want to create an object object oriented programming we talk right it also deals with objects only whenever you create an object normally to delete them you need to use a certain method to delete the object otherwise that object will be unnecessarily in your memory but in java they brought a very good feature which is automatic garbage collector or automatic garbage collection anything you call what this does is it actually keeps your memory always safe how it is is if any of the variable or a memory usage which is not be used anymore it will automatically flush it out from the memory you no need to externally ask to remove that particular memory location or object so java has that feature okay that is why java became very powerful and, and it is widely used in lot of enterprise applications okay and then it is object oriented as i told you object oriented is a methodology the language whichever follows object oriented methodology is called object oriented programming so java is also object oriented programming and i see a question we will be able to retrieve any object just in case deleted accidentally no once you delete from the memory gone you can recreate that object no problem but normally what happens is this garbage collectors right they will delete it whenever it is no more use okay but you can create the object whenever we want okay it is not remember it is not a data like we are storing in a database it is a temporary storage memory created when our program is in run state remember that okay it is not going to delete any of your data or any of your calculations it is a temporary storage when our program is in run only that will be done so that will be deleted if it is not used simple and that won't harm anything to us okay now because we uh, java follows object oriented programming language so it is object -oriented. let us understand what is object oriented okay this methodology is very simple and easy guys what we see in our uh, everyday life is also object oriented actually this object oriented methodology itself is driven from our real world examples only there is nothing new in this object oriented approach i'll tell you a few of the simple things what is see here are the main concepts what we have we will discuss in detail when we go to that concept guys because every concept we will be discussing discussing in java okay don't worry first one is the encapsulation what is this encapsulation is as per object oriented programming everything you physically see and touch is an object for example i am the object you are the object my laptop is an object my mouse is an object my table is an object my chair is an object so everything you physically touch is called object in object oriented programming language is it not 